so in episode four of the series, we managed to set up the React router within our project, and we managed to create a couple of simple routes that mapped to some very basic H2 tags within these routes. Now, in this episode, we're going to take it slightly further, and we're going to create some more components, one of them of which is going to be the home component, and that's going to house some of the information around what our service offers and why people should sign up and pay for our service. Now, I'm going to start off by creating a new file, and it's going to be under the home directory, and I'm going to call it home.js. Now, within this home.js file, I'm going to do the following. So I'm going to start off by importing the React library from React. And then within this, I also want to be able to link to other components. So I'm going to start off by importing the link component from React Router DOM, much like we did in the previous tutorial. And then I'm going to define a new function component called home. Now, within this, we're going to return the following. So we're going to return. And we'll start off with just a simple H2 tag for now. Cool, and then we'll finish off by export default home at the bottom. With this in place, we can now navigate back into our app.js. And just at the top of our file where we've got the other imports for header, we're gonna import the home component. So import home from home slash home like so. And then within this path, we're going to replace this existing H2 tag with the home component that we've just imported. Now, this shouldn't make any material difference when you navigate back to the root of our profile. It should still say home. And just to validate that everything's working correctly, I'm just going to put in component. And as you can see, the page has refreshed and we can see our home component is successfully rendered here. So now that we've guaranteed or validated that this home component is rendering successfully, let's add a little bit of style to it. So I'm going to start off by defi defining a new div class. And this is going to be margin 8. So just to give our component a wee bit of space around it. Now I'm going to delete this h2 tag. And then I'm going to create a new grid. Um, so div class name is equal to grid. And I want two grid columns, so grid calls two, and I want a gap of four in between. Cool. So in the first column, we want to do the following. So we want to create a column, and this is gonna have class name equal to call span one. We're gonna get a padding of four, and then we're gonna duplicate this by doing shift over the three lines and then alt shift down to duplicate those lines just immediately below it. Now in this one we want to do the information so we want to give it a h1 tag and we want to say something like easily generate and then I'm going to do this over multiple lines so I'm going to break line and I'm going to create a new class or a new span the class name equal to text teal 400. And I'm going to say open graph social cards. And yep, I think that'll do it. Perfect. And now in the H1 tag itself, I'm going to give it a class name or a few classes of text 3XL to make it quite large. Give it a margin bottom of eight, and then I'm going to want the text to be gray 800. Cool, so let's see how that looks. So as you can see, it's split the page into two separate columns, and in the first column, it has printed out our H2 tag with a little bit of color in it. Now I am going to modify this ever so slightly, and I'm going to add a rocket emoji because this is my startup, and I'm going to do whatever I want with it. So span. I'm going to give it a roll of image to make it accessible. And then I'm going to say area label is equal to rocket emoji. And then I'm going to add the rocket. Cool. So slightly nicer, a bit more color into it. 
Now below the h1 tag, I want to do a p tag, or a paragraph tag, and class name is equal to margin bottom 12, just to give a wee bit of space at the bottom. And then I'm going to say something like quickly and easily generate stylish social cards for your articles with no fuss. Perfect. And then just below this, I want to create two buttons to link to the getting started page, our the sign up page, and the profile page. So I'm going to start off with a new link. And this is going to be to the uh, sign up page. And then I'm going to do class name is equal to rounded large, give it a padding of x4, background teal. 500, oops, 500. Padding Y3, I want the text to be white and the font to be semi bold. And then let's give it a little bit of shadow with a margin right of four. Cool. And then within this, we want to say sign up like so. And then I'm going to do shift over the three lines and then alt shift down or option shift down and I'm going to say profile view profile and I'm going to change this slightly so I'm going to make the I'm going to make the background white and change the font to teal 500 just the inverse of what we had previously. Cool, let's see how that looks. And it's starting to look a little bit nicer. Now, the next thing we want to do is to show off some of the cards that you're gonna be able to generate through this project. And I'm gonna do that in the second column. So I'm gonna come into this empty column. And then I'm just going to add an image tag. So image, and then class name is equal to shadow, MD, let's give it a shadow. And then I'm going to say I want the corners to be rounded. Cool. And then the source is going to be just going to use one of the, the image cards that I've already generated for my own website. So images.tutorialedge.net slash cards slash golang slash creating restful API with golang slash card dot png. Perfect. And then we need to give it an alt. Uh, of example card, like so. Perfect, let's see how that looks. And as you can see, we're gonna reset the size so we can see what it looks like properly. And it's starting to look a little bit nicer. Now, one more thing I want to do is to pull in the logo and the menu items into the center. So just above these two columns. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to open up the app.js file and where I've got class name equals app, I'm going to take, I'm going to add container and MX auto so that it centers it. As you can see here, oops, it's starting to look a wee bit more compact and a wee bit tidier. And the next thing I want to do is also to come into the common slash header. And I am going to add a border to the bottom just to differentiate the top of the page from the content underneath it. Now, in order to do that, I'm going to navigate up to the top just to where the nav is. And then I'm going to add LG border B2 and LG, I'm going to define the border color as gray 200, like so. Coming back into it. And as you can see, it's added that border for us. Perfect. And I think while we're here, we're also gonna add a couple of emojis to the menu, just on the left-hand side of each of the buttons, just to make it stand out a little bit, a little bit better. So we're gonna do, just before profile, span, uh, role is equal to image, and area label is equal to profile. And then I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna do the gear emoji. And then for the sign up one, I'm going to do span once again, all is equal to image. Area label is equal to sign up 
here. And I'm going to do the writing hand. Like so. Cool. Let's see how that looks. So yeah, looks a wee bit nicer, a wee bit more colour. Makes it stand out just a little bit better. Perfect. Cool. So that's all we're going to cover within this episode. Now, I hope you enjoyed it. In the next episode, we're going to be looking at how we can integrate with the Auth0 um, user account system. And that will effectively allow us to offer profiles on this page. And then people will be then able to access their profile and view their account details.